Hello guys, welcome back to our video. Today we will be discussing about the degradation of cysteine. After the many pathways, we will be looking on the two main pathways. So the first one is transamination pathway. So here first of all cysteine undergoes transamination in presence of transaminase enzyme and forms mercaptopyruvate. So here uh, this NH3 group gets replaced by a keto group and this, this compound is formed. This mercaptopyruvate then in presence of mercaptopyruvate sulfur transferase forms pyruvate molecule. So here, uh, these protons are donated by this enzyme and these protons along with uh, this group gets released as H2S. Then one of the proton attaches with the CH2 and forms CH3 there. This pyruvate is formed. This is the first pathway. Now let us look on to the second pathway that is direct oxidation pathway. Here, first of all, cysteine in presence of cysteine dioxygenase accepts two oxygen molecule and forms cysteine sulfonate. So here, this two oxygen attaches with the sulfur and forms SO2H group here. This cysteine sulfonate is formed. This group, this uh, this compound then undergoes transamination to form beta sulfonyl pyruvate. So here, this NH3 gets replaced by a keto group, and thus this compound is formed. The beta sulfonyl pyruvate thus formed then undergoes a non enzymatic reaction where water molecule splits this compound that is uh, this match group into uh, pyruvate molecule and H2SO3. So here uh, one of the hydrogen of this water, mole this water molecule attaches with this CH2 and forms CH3 there. Then the remaining OH group of this water molecule attaches with this SO2H group and leaves as H2SO3 group. Thus pyruvate is formed. This is the second pathway for the degradation of cysteine. That's all about the degradation of cysteine.